I'm joined today by two representatives from communities who live throughout the Murray-Darling Basin, um, communities in the Northern Basin and communities in the uh, middle section, the Southern Basin, uh, the uh, Murray and the Lower Darling, because we know that we have to take urgent action to save our river system that is in crisis. We've seen over this summer millions of fish dead because there's not enough water in the river. We've seen two scathing reports, one from the Productivity Commission and one from the South Australian Royal Commission that shows the management of the Murray-Darling Basin is in disarray. It's shown, both of these reports, that the management by the MDBA, the Murray-Darling Basin Authority, the Department of Environment, the Water Minister here in Canberra and various states have lost their way in terms of putting water back to the river to save the environment. $13 billion was put aside of taxpayers' money to save the river. And what we've got is a river that is in crisis and millions of dead fish. The communities who live throughout the river system are crying out to be heard. That's why today in the Senate, I'm introducing legislation to establish a federal royal commission because something is very, very rotten. How on earth we can be spending $13 billion and yet we've got a dead river system? I tell you why, because of corruption, corporate cotton and climate change. And while the National Party continue to rule the roost when it comes to managing the water in the Murray-Darling Basin, this river is going to keep dying. It is the fault of the National Party, them looking after their, their corporate mates, looking after their uh, big corporate irrigators, that has meant that this river is dying. They're spending billions of taxpayers' money lying the pockets of big corporate interests and nothing on returning water to the river. So we need a Royal Commission to get to the bottom. It is clearly very murky. We've seen from the South Australian Commission that the Murray-Darling Basin Plan itself is unlawful. And yet we have a water minister, former water minister Barnaby Joyce, and the Prime Minister refusing to listen. So it's great to have these fellows here today to be talking about what this means for their communities and what this means for their river. We need a Royal Commission. We need accountability uh, for those who have mismanaged and corrupted the river system. And for those that are looking after their big corporate mates while the river dies and the environment suffers. So introduce yourselves. I'm, I'm Michael Anderson. I'm from the Northern Basin Aboriginal Nation. And all I have to say is to support Sarah's um, push for a Royal Commission because somebody has to be held accountable. And uh, this is just not uh, to be just an ordinary inquiry. There has to be consequences for what's happened to that river system. The Murray-Darlin Basin is dead. It will take a lot of water now to get, in, get back into the river system, to wet the, wet the environment, to wet the river, the base. You will lose a lot of water right now because the rivers are so dry. And um, the amount of water that's sitting in that northern basin right now, I don't think will allow water to get to Burke because there's going to be so much seepage. Not only that, they're talking about um, fish kills, further fish kills if they release water now. That's probably because there's so many reeds and so many uh, grasses growing in the bed of the river. There's all types of um, um, weed, there's all sorts of grasses, there's all sorts of bindies that's grown in the middle of those rivers. When that water comes down, all that stuff's going to die and it's going to suck the oxygen out of that river system. So there's a, there's a horrible disaster that will happen when they release that water. And unless they aerate that water properly and aerate it as it's going down, there will be another fish kill and it will be on a bigger scale than what you're seeing now. People, the, the, the scientists who are planning these projects within the Murray-Darling Basin have no idea. It's fine to sit in a desk here and do desktop research, but unless you're out there on the ground and you actually see how that system works. As Aboriginal people, we've seen the rivers dry from time to time in our lifetime, but not as dry as this year. Because everywhere in that northern basin, you've always had rainfall. And we've had good rainfall in Queensland, we've had good rainfall in central New South Wales, we've had good rainfall in the New England area, but they're catching the water in those dams. Those rivers should have water running through them now. What we need is, and from a Royal Commission, and what we need is a new planning tool, is that we must have a low flow regime permanently in that system. You cannot stop that river from flowing. 
and uh, they're, they're in, impacting on our culture. And unfortunately, it's also a psychological problem when we see our environment changing, our old people are dying, and it's, it's emotionally draining for a lot of people because those rivers have spirits in them, and we have spirits along those water holes. And while ever they're not, that, they're not in service with those waters, those fish are put getting into those refuges, and unfortunately, we're going to try and keep them alive. And we're watching, this, watching them die. This is just a natural ecological disaster that cannot be accepted. The federal government, the only way they got into water planning was to bring on board the Biodiversity Convention uh, law under the external affairs powers. That's what gave them the right to get in there for environmental purposes, and they're failing. The Commonwealth government has failed, and as Sarah just said, it's a job for the boys, it's a money-making adventure, and I liken it to poor old Pablo Escobar sitting in jail somewhere, Right here, the National Party and their mates are making more money than that bloke ever made just through selling water back to the environment. And, and it's a rough regime when you've got a state regime selling, giving water out that's not, that's not going to fall out of the sky. And then the Commonwealth has to buy this back. It's, it's a shocking disgrace. Floodplain harvesting has to be stopped immediately. But when they buy that water back from floodplain harvesting, they must also take down the levy banks because they're taking back the water and the licenses but they leave the levy banks up and they catch the water. It, it's just a corrupt system and you can thank the National Party for that. Brendan, yeah, Brendan Kennedy from Murray Lower Darling Rivers Indigenous Nations. Uh, Mildren, Mildren and NBAM, we're here to support Sarah's uh, introduction of this bill to, um, to call for a Royal Commission into, into the, the government and the National for their miss management and maladministration of our Murray Darling Basin, our precious waterways. Um, we want to get rid of, want to see the abolishment of floodplain harvesting and we want to see um, our water flowing through our system all the way to all, for all the nations, traditional owners throughout the whole basin. We are dying. Um, the health of the, the river is absolutely disgusting, it's deplorable, it's killing, you can see it's killing our fish kill off our fish, it's killing off all of our animals and it's killing all of our people as well. First Nations peoples are dying. So we, we strongly support Sarah um, in introducing this bill um, to uh, call for a Royal Commission into the Murray-Darling Basin plan and the Nationals and the Government for what they're doing. The Minister for Water uh, should be ashamed of himself. The New South Wales Minister for Water they should be ashamed of themselves. There's corruption going on. These cotton uh, companies, their mates, are getting all of our water and we're not getting any water at all. People in Menindee, Broken Hill, they don't have drinking water to survive. That's a basic human right to water. So we strongly support Sarah. Mildred and NBAM, we're here to support Sarah uh, to introduce this bill today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I have thousands yeah. of photos. Right. Yeah, I'm sure you've you got a good collection, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, Labor still hasn't ruled it out, um, which is good. We've got to keep the pressure on them. Labor really have yes. to agree to it. Yeah. I think if Labor agree, the other crossbenchers will agree. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, because everyone can see what a, oh, what a disgrace it is.